Hi everyone, it's me, Jordan Long here, and today I'm going to talk about folks who think I probably think, folks who believe I probably take, do too much, make too many films. Now, to be earnest with you, I only make one film a day. Well, when I'm in a mood too, but it's always, you know, been one film a day. Now, I have made more films than I'm gonna say than the community channel or the followership fairway. And even though I can't say her kin name right, I like to say it's Tan, but everybody keeps telling me I'm not saying that right, but oh well. It would be like something like, something like this. Oh, I think you, you know, I think you make too many films. You think I make too many films? Yeah, I do. Well, that can be your, that is your thought and belief. But I don't think I make too many films. You know, I make one film a day and that's it. And that's how it's always been for some time. Unless I do a YouTube live stream, and I guess I cut his track as a two Ford film. Sometimes I make more than one upload if I'm in a mood. And sometimes I do a YouTube live stream. Yeah, well, some folks out there think that you make too many films. And you should, uh, you know, cut back on them. Well, that's your thought and belief. You know? Now other folks ask, why do you always make your films at 7 in the morning? Well, 7 Eastern uh, would actually be about 6 Hill, be 5 Middle, and would be 4 West. So in other words, yeah, it would be early for anyone, no need what time stead that I have that, that you're in. I already told you why I make why I make my films like that. So I had the rest of the day to do other needed things. And if I want to make more than one film, I can do that. I have that right. Yeah. If you're not talking about folks out there that sometimes bitch about you making more than one film, then there's folks out there that bitch about folks that make more than one YouTube reckoning. I mean, they're like this. They go, you have, you can only have one YouTube reckoning or fairway. You can't have more than one. Well, you don't work for Alphabet, do you? You don't work for Google. You don't work for YouTube. So you have no say in the oversight about how many reckonings and fairways someone can have as long as they're in good standing and as long as they're not doing anything wrong or unlawful with them who cares how many they have well I don't like it when folks make more than one reckoning then either they shut them down that's their own business you know you bitching that someone having more than one YouTube fairway and having more than one Google reckoning to go along with that that's their own business alright I don't think you have the right to tell anyone what how many YouTube reckon how many Google reckonings they should have how many YouTube fairways they should have that's about that's on them alright and I know some of you folks that bitch about folks you know doing that you don't even follow your standards you'll say it's alright for you to have more than one Google Reckoning and YouTube Fairway and whatever the ground might be, but it's wrong for everybody else, right? Yeah, whatever. Yeah, I'm not making it up. There are folks out there who uh, who are like that. Now, are they haters? I don't know if they're actually haters. They can be haters, or they're just or they're just someone out there that wants you know wants to play the beaten, you know make it look like that you're doing something wrong when underneath the oversight of of YouTube 
you're not doing anything wrong. So I guess in a way they are being haters because they're making themselves out to be the beaten that you're doing something wrong. You know? Yes, there are a lot of folks on YouTube who make a lot of films. That's their own business. If they're in the mood to make a lot of uploads or live streams, then they can do that. Um, there are a lot of folks that have more than one YouTube fairway, one or more YouTube fairways, whatever they choose to do if it's their own business, as long as they're not as long as they're following the YouTube Webstead oversight, the YouTube followership oversight, and following ownership along whatever other oversights that happen to fall underneath if they're a mate or not. But you know, that's their own business. And why I'm making this film is in the past and probably still now, there are still some folks out there on YouTube who believe that everyone has to follow some kind of made up standard. And I'm not talking about the YouTube Webstead oversight or the YouTube followership oversight or the YouTube ownership oversight or if you're a mate, the YouTube boostering oversight, YouTube mateship oversight or Google AdSense oversight. You know, I'm talking about folks that make up their own oversights that are not overseen by YouTube or Google or any of its offshoots or businesses or whatever. They just make them up and then they, don't, they want you to follow them, but they don't have to. So that's it for me. If you like that film, then watch the film I made yesterday over here or follow me here at Jordan Long. I'm Jordan Mulan Long, and I'll see you later. One thing I'm sure that the community channel or the followership fairway don't do is that she only made one film last year, but at the end of the day, I don't think I don't think she's going to be coming back anytime soon. So I think I actually made more films than she did. Anyway, still a big follower of her. If it wasn't for her, I wouldn't be doing this. Bye.